So, brother, are you ready for tomorrow's sermon? The organist must know the order of the service. Who is this man that I see before me? He has the fear of God in his face, like the very devil has overcome him. May I help you, sir? Our Lord welcomes all into his house. There is warm soup and bread inside. Man would live in perfect health 
And only violence were cut short This gift is worth more than wealth No consumption and no cancer No lepers, cripples, gout In my hand I hold the answer To what life is all about Frankenstein, I'm astounded. This is the greatest discovery of our age. You're fame, Frankenstein. Clever, you're a good man. And I know if I tell you, you'll keep it a secret. I don't get my specimens from the university. I begged and begged, but they wouldn't give me any more. So I had to... Dig them up. You're mad. How many the corpses in the graveyard are missing hands? N not just hands, Clever. And do you think I want to? I'd far rather use a dissecting room. I have to go without food to buy the chemicals I need. Henry de Clerval. 
pleased to meet you. Uh, he's very wrapped up in his work. Can I help? Once upon a time, father and mother Frankenstein were expecting a child to make their life complete. But once she'd given birth, God took the mother from the earth, sent her to heaven, all joy quickly up to the Father Frankenstein was torn apart A lonely soul with a hole inside his heart How he longed for her and missed her Though he had his new son, Victor So helped him grow up and in time become a man Though the bond was so, so pure and Victor was mature to study and to live the way he ran. Father Frankenstein was torn apart, and only so with a hole inside his heart. Now Father Frankenstein goes fast. Frankenstein. He's a dying man. You must see him. You may die any minute. I'll come tomorrow. What's more important than your dying father? A son who can't see his father on his deathbed? You must understand. My experiment has reached a critical stage. How can I understand a son who cares nothing? I've done my duty, so be it. Darling. Not tonight, dear. I'm conducting my greatest experiment. Culmination of years of hard work. You have your work. Don't live your life. You are possessed. What is your demon? Your demon's strong, it's like you've done. 
Get on! Frankenstein! You're a demon! A vital thing! You're a monster! I don't know how you made me, Frankenstein! I did not create you to do evil! Did you create me to be cursed and hated from all mankind? No, never. Did, did you create me to be good? To be noble and stronger than all humans? Yes! The image of what humanity could be? Yes! Yes! Then finish what you start! How can I be good alone? How can I love when I met with nothing but hatred and disgust? Give me a creature like myself, Frankenstein. Give me a mate, a wife, a friend, and we shall leave you alone forever. We shall go far away from this place together. You are my god. Make me a wife. No. Never. You're a monster. Leave me alone. Get out of my house. You've been warned! I'm having nightmares, reoccurring nightmares, being watched by a ghastly being. What does this being look like? He's mysteriously scarred. He looks like he's risen from a shallow grave. Don't worry, it's just a dream. You're safe with me. Have a bath, relax, and we can walk along the river tomorrow.
So now you see where I lie here before you. You understand the wreck I've become. Spending nights out here in the darkness, and my days alone on the run. But now I feel like my running is over. I've no strength, no more fight left to give. So run along, let me meet with my demons. For no more have I reason to live.